Hey, Albert Bartlett here. Today I'm going to show you how you can customize the theme of your high level account using GHL plugins. If you're unfamiliar with GHL plugins, it's basic series or a collection of tools that you can use inside of your high level account. Uh, we've been talking about this all week. There's so many tools you can choose from, it's impossible. your GHL plugins account, um, you will see that you have the theme customizer here at a code agency. You don't need to add it anymore. Okay, so I just saw my screen go crazy. You guys let me know. Is everything all good? I've been having some weird things happen when I'm live. Yeah, Manny says cutting in and out. Are you, can you hear me now? Everything is good? I just saw like the screen pop out and pop back in. I see that my mic is working and you guys are hearing me. So um, I will go ahead and continue. Hopefully all is good. We are having some bad storms here. Um, okay, thank you, Manolo. I appreciate it. Okay, so um, Okay, back to what we were doing. Okay. All right. Thank you, Ray. All right. So uh, what you want to do is you want to choose the theme customizer. Okay. And of course, the first step is you want to enable the service. All right. Then you're also one of the cool things about this is you can enable the red, unread conversation. That is what shows up here inside of your dashboard in the conversations. If you want to see like one or two, like basically that little number that shows up um, when you have unread conversations. That's what that is. So that's really cool. Um, you also can even set up your logo by location. Okay. So I'm going to click here and you can see that if you wanted to add for your agency, you just need to enter in the location ID and then you can upload the logo. So you can do your own location um, or you can do each of your clients' locations. You can do that here from this tool as well. Now, when you want to configure the dashboard, You'll see when you click there, it's going to show you basically what it's going to look like when you configure the dashboard. There's lots of things that you can choose from here. You can even like rearrange these. Now, this is obviously not the way that you're going to do it, but you can even rearrange the position of all of these. Um, you'll see the different themes that are built in here, and you'll also see that you can customize them. So I'm sure you're not surprised I would choose the purple theme here. And if you want to choose, you know, let's say you like this theme, but you do want to change the different colors, you could actually change it here. And of course, if you have uh, this type of a code or you want to um, add those or your hex code, you can just do that there. Okay. So you could, of course, go through and customize each and every step of all of these and definitely get your brand how you want to like, uh, how you like it. Okay. So it'll show you the real live um, edits as you're going through here. So that's really cool. And when you get the look that you like, obviously I don't like this one. Let's make that text white. Okay. So now you can see that looks much better. So I'm going to go back and click here. Um, you also can add some restrictions. So if you wanted to exclude locations from this brand, you could do that. Um, and then of course, what you want to do is save this. Now, I don't want to save it. I'm not actually putting this on my agency because I already have um, another tool that I use and it's already done. So why reinvent the wheel, right? Um, but you can see here, this is how you want to edit your theme, all right? Now, what's cool too, is you can also edit the the home page. Okay. So we all know what the, the generic, you know, high level login page looks like with this tool, you are able to customize this login page. So you can add your own images there. You can add, you know, change what this looks like here. So if I wanted to see, for example, this one here, you can see that we have the image. You can change this color. You can change the heading color. And if you wanted to add an image here, all you need to do is you can create it on Canva or wherever you want to create it. And then what you'd need to do is go into your media storage file here and upload that image. Like you can see, I have this uh, loading image here. You would just need to go get the link 
go back into here and then you would paste that in here. And I don't want to do that because it's just my loading pick, but I guess I could show you what it looks like if it even loads that. I don't know. I don't think it's going to load a GIF or a GIF or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Um, but let's actually get an image though, because I do want to show you. Let's just say, oh, we'll choose this one because that's the one I had there anyway. So we'll get the link and then we'll go back and then we'll paste that there. Now we have our different image. I don't know why it's not showing that, but okay. Um, and then you have the card color, the text color, the error message, uh, the logo image, and all of that you can customize there. Okay. So I'm not going to save this. I'm just going to go back. All right. But of course you want to save it. So now what you want to do is configure the loader. So that's that image that I was just showing you here where I just went to Canva. I chose this element. I downloaded it as a GIF or a GIF. Um, and then you can edit the background color here, the text um, color. You can change where I have, it says just a second or just a sec. Um, and then of course you have the loader icon, which is what I uploaded there. So same thing, you just wanna upload it to your media gallery and then add it there. And then of course you want to save, all right? Now, once you get all of this set up, is exactly how you want it. You wanna click submit and then you're going to get the script, okay? There's gonna be two maybe three, depending on how you set it up, different scripts that you need to add, okay? It's just a long code, don't be afraid of it. All you need to do is it'll tell you, and I'm sorry I can't show you because there's lots of private information in that, um, but there's going to be scripts that it tells you to add to the custom JavaScript or the J, uh, J, C or something, JCS. I don't, I don't remember what it's, JSS or something. Um, so it's going to say JavaScript or it's going to say CSS. What you need to do is go into your agency settings in the agency admin dashboard, not a sub account. You need to go into the settings and you're going to go to company. You'll see the custom JavaScript and custom CSS. That's where you're going to add those, those codes that it gives you when you click this here. Okay. And it'll break it up for you and tell you, sorry that I can't show you. Okay. So that is how easy it is to customize the dashboard and even customize that logo at the top of all of the accounts. Okay. So I'm going to go into now my community, um, the logo, meaning where mine says vision, you can actually kind of white label your dashboard for your different customers. Okay. So that's really cool. Um, now, I do want to thank you all so, so much for joining me. And remember, immediately following after today's training, we do have open office hours. So whether you are in our free community, which you can join at myvisionagency.com, or you are a reseller, you can join at the same place there. You're going to go to the community, go to the events calendar, and you're going to click on today's date. You'll be able to join me right into the Zoom meeting. And I did want to remind you guys, tomorrow we are going to have a special guest for our group group coaching for resellers only. And that is going to be Patricia Carlin, who is the founder of Deposit. So if you are a content creator or a coach and you are still using Stripe, do not miss tomorrow's training because Patricia is going to tell us why we are all putting our businesses at risk for the dreaded Stripe shutdown. Okay. And if you are interested in, um, GHL plugins. And if you go to the, um, if you go to start your seven day trial, you'll see that there is like the unlimited plan for 197. Okay. But if there's another individual tool that you're interested in getting, just message me on my website in the chat, myvisionagency.com or in the community. I have different affiliate links for all of these different tools. So if you're just interested in the theme customizer or something like that, uh, let me know. I have a link for you that'll make it much less than 197. All right. Thank you all. And I will see you in open office hours. Go make your vision a reality.